Website here. There's a passage that says, We believe that Allah, parentheses God, appeared in the person of Master W. Fard Muhammad. July 1930, the long awaited Messiah of the Christians and the Mahdi of the Muslims. Now, I think that would be controversial among the mainstream Muslims. Could you understand or clarify these, uh, these statements that, he, that, he, uh, that God appeared in the person uh, now, of Fard sir, in Detroit? With all due respect to you from the Washington Times. You are certainly no authority on what would create confusion among mainstream Muslims. And of course, I understand your motive for raising such question, but I will answer you very succinctly in a way that I believe all Muslims would understand. First of all, the Holy Prophet, peace be upon him, said to all of us in his hadith that the Mahdi would come out of uh, his family and the whole Muslim world is expecting Mahdi, number one. The Muslim world also is expecting the return of Jesus coming with Mahdi. The third point is the Shiite Muslims are looking for the hidden Imam or the twelfth Imam which is called Imam Mahdi. And they thought that Ayatollah Khomeini was uh, that Imam, but from his own lips, he said he was not Mahdi. Now, why does the, why does the Muslim Ummah need a Mahdi? The Mahdi is a guide. And you don't need a guide if you have not lost your way. And no one can deny that the Islamic world has lost the path of Allah that they were guided to from the time of Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him. He said three generations after him would no longer be of him, which meant that he knew that his ummah would go astray and therefore the Mahdi was prophesied to come. We believe that the Mahdi has come and that he came in the person of W. Farad Muhammad. And why do we say Allah? Because if you look at the attributes of Allah, starting with mercy, beneficence, starting with Malik, a judge, or Rabbil Alameen, one who nurtures something from one stage and makes it attain stage after stage until it reaches per um, perfection. He's Wali, the protecting friend. He's Jabbar. He's all of this. Well, you tell me, who visited us since I came up in America that most of you are afraid of? But I have no fear of that that is the power in the world. Who protects me? You don't. They don't. But I come and go as I please because Allah is with me. He came to us. His beneficence and his mercy raised me. I never was taught in Al-Azhar nor in any school of theology in the Islamic world. But if you listen to me, you will know that I have been taught by a master because no master over here has defeated and can defeat what I have been taught of a master. I am here to awaken a world that has gone to 